guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting very to episode one of season three of Kondasuba. It feels like it's been years. I mean, it hasn't been that long since we got the spinoff, but still, it, it feels like it's been eons since I last reacted to season one and season two, because, you know, of course, on the old channel. Fuck YouTube. Um, but yeah, I'm so fucking excited! <laughs> All right, let's go to get started in three, two, one, go. What's up, bro? Yeah, I mean, yeah, you're too, you're useless goddess, and your two pretty cures have done some shit for the longest time. <laughs> Probably did useless. Kazo, oh my god. <laughs> oh, so he came at like a top and came from Oran? <laughs> Damn, Megamine! Yes, the PTSD is so <laughs> Poor baby. But yeah, that's how you go. You do what you gotta do. Huh? Well...
Yeah. Listen to useless. No! Okay, you do that. Well, okay, so if you are going to a temple, is what's her face going to be showing up today? Right? Aqua. I mean, I'm eating too, but girl. <laughs> I mean, well, you are one. <laughs> Do you want me to call your runner girlfriend every single week, babe? Here we go. <laughs> But you guys, <laughs> not in the way that you think. <laughs> right? Just tell them what you She breathed in like that. Darkness. Oh my god. I mean, seriously, best girl. Damn. Oh. <laughs> she breathed in like that because all the shit she had to do was a pretty hair.
Oh my god, it had good dirt and bad dirt. Right, so just drop the whole facade. Right, honestly, we don't want Megamine to be alone again. No. After the spinoff, like, no. Megamine should not be alone again. No. <laughs> Aww. Mm-hmm. Yeah, be smart. Be cool. <laughs> Mega me! Oh, the fucking frogs are back. They had a moment. Huh? Was she just sitting there the whole time? Mm, yeah. This might be it. Right? Because this is a little fishy. Oh no. No. No! I'm backing up. Okay. Okay. I mean, but he could be, we're being a little cautious on this. I mean, yeah, she's cute. I, I hate the fact that she's about to cry too. But no, we got. She gotta go. She gotta go. Okay, rent a useless goddess. Hush <laughs> in this situation. I don't like the fact that she said first and last.
fight. You hungry? Hmm? I I don't know. Cosmo. Okay, so where is she? So you know free game. Really? What? No. He's okay. He's a new man now. So, we getting champagne? We getting wine? Yes. She took the mallet. <laughs>
not sleeping with. Oh. Are we being audited? <laughs> oh my god no Babe. What is it? Your sister? But that's free food now, babe. <laughs> of course the idiots would agree. I've missed her so much. <laughs> Honestly, I mean, you know, the the time gap of season two to now and the fact that all four of their saves have been in, like, bigger things besides this show is still good as fuck and they get their range and everything else. But to have these four come back and play these same characters again after, like, such a long ass time, it, it's just so good. It's everything I fucking needed and more. I am secretly hoping... Because there's one character that I really thought was going to be in this first episode, but of course not. Um, was that her? I don't know. I had to go back and look. Uh, the priestess chick that Megami met in her spinoff. She's got to at least make an appearance because, of course, we're still in the modern present day of this show. So it makes the most sense. But, you know, at the same time, you kind of wish... And I, and I say this for, like, every Isekai Quartet series. I haven't said it for ReZero yet because, well, in my mind when I watch ReZero on my own, um, you secretly just wish everybody else from those respective shows would all pop up together again and be like, hey, like, hey, yo, I need some help. But, you know, they can't speed dial. So he, he can't speed dial, like... <laughs> On us, or like anybody else, so they always have to figure out shit by themselves. But no, <laughs> it was good. Damn good first episode, <laughs> like that ass. But no, I think that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing. So, cause I do it for freaking laid back camp where I call Nadeshko Kirby every single week. So knowing me, because of the fact is like even though I stopped watching, you know, Run to Girlfriend and such because you know reasons on it, and I've heard some not so good things about the current series. Yeah, so yeah, Aqua's new nickname is you know <laughs> Rent a Useless Goddess. And I I don't know, maybe I would just call Megamine like I, because duh, Miss Oceanal ish. Um, Darkness. That's the, the, the best, the freaking best girl fucking pretty here, duh. Well, you know, for, for a certain time. But still, no, I loved it. This is so fucking good. <laughs> it was everything I needed and more. But like, yeah. No, because like, seriously, I was expecting the show to. I think, besides the fact is, this first episode got leaked, what, like two weeks ago? And such. And I was like, well, it's coming out on Monday. So I was like, okay. Monday came and went. And I was like, okay. Y'all changed the date. Okay. But no. 
10 out of 10 would recommend. I love the fact that they also just, like, put parts of the movie in this first episode and just because he was so traumatized <laughs> about the situation. <laughs> poor baby, poor Cosmo. But he, he's now a changed man. He, you know, he's not a boy anymore. He's a man. So, yeah, good on him. But... Other than that, guys, that is my action view towards episode one of season three of Kanasuba. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single night. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for episode two. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.